from from Ryan again. He asks, hmm. um, "What's your unpopular opinion in dance battle or maybe dance as a whole?" <laughs> so I from, like that. I like that. Hey everybody, it's Ramon and welcome to the Mula Podcast. So the podcast where we talk about the artist's journey. So when I started the podcast, I had a list of people that I want to guest on the show. It's like a wish list I have with my friends, with my friends in it. And I have a separate list of community leaders that I want on the show as well. But along the way, you know, even before I started the podcast and when I was even, and when I was starting already, there are still some doubts in me that I may not be competent enough, you know, to, to start the podcast, let alone invite the community leaders on my show. It was um, like a push and pull experience with me every time I start to do an episode because in my mind, I don't want to be labeled as someone who's trying to be this dancer host for a podcast, which why we are still on episode seven. <laughs> But now instead of thinking I have to do this for the show or I have to do this for the people on the internet, I just want to document the experience and let things fall into where it should be. And then maybe along the way, acknowledge the feedback, take the things that can help me improve and then move on. So this approach has helped me take off the pressure and help me produce the content that I want. So because just a, just a quick story, Kuya, kasi... I, I, I started documenting. I ako kasing tawagin siyang vlogging eh. Kasi parang pressure siya. Mm. Pressure to like produce content for, yeah. the, for the sake of the vlog. So it's just like me uh, really just documenting everything and just sharing it. Wala naman siyang parang, you know, parang kung, kung, kung mag-hit siya, whatever. It's just mm. just me wanting to, to upload. Kasi yung memory ko din, <laughs> my memory is not good so it's like I don't know, parang memory bank din siya so mm-hmm. nice. so that, that that's just wanted to apply it also with with my with with the podcast yeah so without further ado I'm excited to do this episode because one he's one of the dance leaders on my list so I started at a conceptualize conceptualizing my podcast parang mga May last year so yon so it's been it's been really a long journey to 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 reach episode seven just because of the 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 reasons I mentioned Kanina and then two because he's one of the people who really inspired me to continue dancing post college and really pursue a dance style which was laughing yeah so whenever Kuya James will be at an event which I'm also attending so I think you know this Kuya but pero this is starstruck pa din talaga ako. <laughs> Because for for the for the people who might not know, it was you who really uh, influenced my friends to lock. So yung mga friends ko from Mapua, yun nga yung artificial instinct. Sila ko Henry, what? sila Dan Mark, sila sila uh, apa yon mga AI, no. sila Ryan, yan. What? So when when they when they started locking, I invited them to teach sa mila salkan lubang. And then nag sila ng foundation. So that's where it all started for me to be interested in locking. So it's like indirectly inspired din me. Yun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's why when the auditions for School of Good Luck came, I couldn't let the opportunity pass. I may not yeah. be able to pass the first time, but I'm just really glad that I didn't give up. And then, you know, all the experiences we had. Yes. Ah, kamis. So, oh my. <laughs> again, my guest is the CEO and founder of Move Manila and creative director of School of Good Luck, a father of two avatars. He's a professional mm-hmm. dancer, choreographer, educator, and I consider a leader in the dance community and mentor. Welcome to the show, Kuya James. Kamusta po? Hey, good, good. Thank you for having me. Before anything else, I would like to applaud you and like commend you because you're doing something. Like whether they say you might have reasons to buy, like like the doubts and so but man, you're doing it. You're in episode seven, so it's like you're you're get you're getting it. 
whatever it will go to for sure mm-hmm. it's gonna be amazing really really appreciate that kuya um it was really like something na like i was looking for a passion project when i was still working so aside from um dancing sabi ko parang um this is still something na hindi pa rin siya masyadong ginagawa even with the, yeah. the technology and really i'm really into podcast talaga when syempre pag nagko-commute so i'm really yes, yes. Uh, really want to listen and then si si Kuya Maya ata gumawa ng podcast din oh, okay i think meron siyang ina-upload usually sa 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 page niya mm. so parang event this pandemic na yun eh but before si um Si Les Paul din. Les Paul, yeah, si Les Paul. Yeah. Nakikinig ako ng podcast ni Les Paul. So meron din si Les Paul. And then, si, um, si Sir Nan. I think yeah. meron siya may podcast. So fun, fun, fun din yun. So mm-hmm. I, I, I'm just happy na a lot of dancers are are doing podcasting kasi um, mas, mas nag, magiging, nagiging mas malawak yung 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 mga natututunan din ng other dancers na hindi most probably hindi alam ng ng karamihan and then mm-hmm. they're also so leaders in their their own community so so yun and I'm I, I don't want to say that I'm the first kasi na kasi parang <laughs> um yun nga parang not that really mabigat yung name but I'm really happy that other other dancers are doing it so more content for everyone mas masaya yeah If you're the first, then you're the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, what have you been up to recently? Uh, so recent, well, now currently, I'm ending my first week ng Unlock Teachers Camp, mm-hmm. uh, which started this Feb, and then before that was the Unlock Challenge, dong January. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Parang yun yung major things that that happened recently for me, yun, other than teaching. And how was the the unlock challenge? Because parang nagulat talaga ako, like a lot of people were on my feed. Na, Ooh, something's parang something's blowing up on the internet. There's this unlock challenge na <laughs> na, na, na na hashtag, and then uh, they're doing different um, challenges and different styles. So how how was just the the overall concept and the thought of of the challenge it was it was actually just an experiment i said mm-hmm. like i was i was bored and in isip ko like after siguro a year of teaching in isip ko i i really want to like this hyper mind of mine this mahilig ako sa iba ibang styles mm-hmm. i want to be able to share that to somebody you know mm-hmm. like or to to be able to converse with someone kahit isang tao lang who who is willing to siguro absorb all that information or or to learn from me or what or kahit was as somebody i can like basically share everything in that mm-hmm. dance wise because like so i have locking friends i have popping friends i have house friends so but i need to go meron kayang isang tao who wants to who wants to do everything like who, who i can converse with or mm-hmm. i can just share my thoughts with and in 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 the process maybe uh he or she will be able to learn from me and i learn from the person and mm-hmm. at the end of the year baka sobrang lupit namin yung ganun mm-hmm. uh-huh. so whatever happens yun na so inisip ko okay let then let's make a uh, uh, challenge this inisip ko okay mag post na ako ng poster whoever wants to join can join uh, and then ayun nagulat din ako na ang daming nag apply uh, actually kasi inisip ko like wala eh ko i don't know it was just an experiment mm-hmm. so okay so so that i have a plan like anong papagawa ko challenges so in adjust ko siya kasi ang daming tao mm-hmm. and then ayun the first challenge came, came up and everybody got into it different people from different backgrounds dancers for fun and the mm-hmm. dancers na nagko-compete dancers who dance before so mm-hmm. ang saya nung interpretation nila with every challenge and and i the challenge with them is to post it online mm-hmm. so parang kahit if you feel like you did well or not wala kang choice parang, <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> parang yun yung challenge and it turned sabi ko sa kanila you guys inspired a lot of people by posting your your challenge 
Mm-hmm. Yun. So parang for me, it was really amazing na Yeah, it was really amazing for as an experience na ang daming nakakita and ang daming na inspire and ang dami nilang na unlock. <laughs> kahit ano lang siya, kahit it's just a weekly challenge ganun. Ay, ay na natuwa nga ako kasi I see just cause Jake was my parang um yes. nakasama ko siya sa ano sa sa beep beep for nag nag nagkasabay kami pero pero ibang ibang department siya. I didn't really know na he dance, he dances. Oh. Oo. Whoa. And then I think there was one na uh, at umattention ng workshop. I I just forgot. So nagkaroon kami ng conversation mm. sa sa workshop. Yeah. Uy, sumasayaw pala. And then I'm just really happy that he could think he's still dancing. So parang na-inspire ko sa kanya. Grabe yung grabe, grabe yung grabe yung moves ni, ni Jake. So Gra- so, grabe. Actually, masaya ako pag pinapanood ko siya. Super. Masaya ako pinapanood Aww. ko siya. And this then, guy. and then si Abs then I, yeah. I invited him nga to to perform in one of our online events then Sadly, kasi nga, kasi nakita ko siya sa Unlock. So, I invited him to perform. Mm. But sadly, parang mm. magkaroon mga technical difficulties. So, sabi ko, yeah. bro, ang, ang backup na, na lang natin is yung compile na lang natin yung Unlock mo na videos. And, wow. it, and, and, it, and it worked. And it worked. Mad, madami namang magandang feedbacks dun sa, sa ano ni Abs. Nice. That's why I mean, really, really, sobrang, when, when it, it, it went up to my feed, It, it it like glowed glowed up talaga on, on me and so like they really passed it <laughs> so they really fun yeah Yay. <laughs> but what what happens after parang there you you chose someone like mm. after the challenge so it's a month long challenge so every week there's one challenge that they're supposed to post online mm-hmm. yon so either a dance or a lesson plan or whatever so it's it's like it's like the So, yung challenge are revolving around what what I want to share or what I want to teach. So, different styles, different ways of, of teaching, teaching ganyan, uh-huh. ganyan. and then and then after each every after each deadline, we process it. So mm-hmm. we talk about it. I ask them how they are, and and I share some notes and some hacks <laughs> about uh-huh. these certain things. And then ayun, and then the last challenge, ayun na. <laughs> after the last challenge, I'm gonna pick one. So mm-hmm. only one person wins like a whole year uh, free classes with me and mm-hmm. yon basically all the, the things I know yon all the resources I have for my my teachers I'll, I'm mm-hmm. gonna share to that person ayun and then si Megan he, she's a cropper mm-hmm. she's a really crazy battler here so it means now she's in uh, the states oh so yeah she's she's there What's cool also with this kind of setup is na ako kana ng international students or students from 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 <laughs> different guess. from from different from different countries. When but usually mga students din sila eh. like before uh, mga students ko na sila before. Ah um, okay. Yeah. Tas, yeah. Uh, so ibo ano lang. But meron ba nag um enroll sa yon na like stranger talaga really wanted to Um, learn from you. Meron bang Meron nangyari? Na around two, mga dalawa. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. And how do you, Talk how about. do, how do they usually learn about you? I don't know. Referra... I don't know. <laughs> As in, they they wouldn't say then eh, mm. how they got. So they just message me. How do I? Enroll. How do I apply? Kanya. Yeah, yeah, enroll. Yun. Uh-huh. Ayun lang ganon. Siguro sa Instagram. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, mas global, you know, I guess. Have, have you tried tapping into those kinds of market parang um yung mga uh, inaayos mo yung mga keywords mo to hope potentially tap international yeah. students to yeah I don't know I don't know how to do that kaya like kaya I needed to learn how to brand myself like yeah the word unlock came from uh-huh. Ian Villanueva heavy yeah, yeah. movie siya yung nagtulong sa akin to like brand myself and gana as hindi ko alam pa ano yun eh mm-hmm. <laughs> and and yun so so I I I don't know if I have done that na yung mm-hmm. promote with keywords maybe not okay. yet <laughs> I need okay. to okay 
yeah I, kasi parang it's 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 a huge huge opportunity and potential then i mm. i guess yeah okay so um i asked uh, questions from the internet from people from the mm-hmm. internet which are also just my friends and family and our crewmates from the school so mm-hmm. okay so let's see how it goes okay so um first question is from my sister so this is Therese Agbisit she asks when and how did you start dancing like re- like start start the first with, yeah or like, serious like, or serious so yeah dun tayo na lang sa serious like like <laughs> <laughs> serious Well, sineryoso ko to kasi may, may crush ako sa high school. So, yun. So, sineryoso ko talaga. <laughs> so, okay. yun. Si JB, ano you know, you guys know, si JB is that. Yeah. He's my, yun, kaklas, sa kabatch ko siya sa high school. And mm-hmm. she's known as like the dancer sa, sa school. Mm-hmm. So, when I heard about, when I heard my crush, yun, <laughs> na parang tuwang-tuwa sila kay JB. Nagpaturo ako kay JB. So, uh-huh. ayun, I, I would attend their their practices and nagpaduro talaga. Mm-hmm. Yun, and I started watching You Got Served and biting all the moves there. Tapos, realized ko, wow, gusto ko to ah. Ang saya na to ah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, ayun, and then, na-push na until college. Ayun. And then, tuloy-tuloy. <laughs> I think, I think, for, for, sabi ko na hour, no? hour, hour time mm-hmm. before, shocks before, It was really the movies that <laughs> I think it was yeah. really the movies that influenced us big time. Stop the yard, you got oh. served, step up. Money, step up. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then a no hindi pa nila binaban yung MTV na website ABDC. Yeah. So it was it was really Yes. It was really those those shows so, mm-hmm. Okay, next question. So from Dominic Patino, ano ang nag-drive para simula ng School of Good Luck and then just put in <laughs> your biggest inspiration of blocking. Ako I don't know this. Bakit ko nga ba hindi uh, alam? Hindi ko tinatanong. Talaga? Hindi ko tinatanong yung history <laughs> ng good. <laughs> so uh we'll see, I'll be answer the inspiration first. No, okay. this temporary is Don the, yeah. the creator of Lock. Siguro outside of or aside from him, I would say yung until now, top one ko pa rin na like, I, I really watch sa video when I want to rekindle my recipe See, Flocky from mm-hmm. Germany. Yan, when I first watched oh, it, yeah. like, Me too. Di ba? Parang, di ba? <laughs> parang, he, he got invited by LSDC once. Parang iba yung, mm. iba yung yeah. concept niya ng, he, yeah. he really made it his own. Anyway, say go kuya. Mm. So we yeah we brought him here to the Philippines for this uh-huh. and then nag workshop to sa LSD. So oh, yeah, ah, yung bayan same same, same time yun. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That was in, in apparently he's younger than us. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, like how amazing. young? How I think young? We're two, two, two years younger. Yeah, okay. two years younger than us. So so it's amazing how he reached, di ba, his status. Status, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, watch him because it's like, I thought it was time travel siya, eh, from the past. Eh. So, grab you punk. So, <laughs> so parang, I want to learn how to, oh, I want to dance like that. So, yun, siya yung, I think, uh, aside from Don, the biggest ano, inspiration. I think for si Flock, if, when I see him dance, may mga, may mga song choices din siya na parang it's not yeah. really f- for locking yes, but he yes. he just makes it yeah work yes. and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. usher I... kendrick lamar as in any parang hindi nga funking iba pero parang yeah, as in, he meron just... meron ba siyang naririnig <laughs> he just like he just dance dances it yun so oh. sabi niya is like sabi ko how do you get that form or like way of dance sabi niya He got that from his mom. Like huh? his mom will just dance like that. So, sabi niya, apparently, it just looks funky. 
when you mix it with laughing. So, para ah, <laughs> so galeng, 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 de ba? Ag galeng, no? Like ah, uh, okay, amazing. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Ah, laughing. Okay, di ko expect yon, di ko expect yon. <laughs> okay, so how did School of Good Luck begin? <laughs> It's another experiment. Kaya, <laughs> kaya, kaya I'm commending you. Like people who start things, they 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 open doors. So for me, whether it it you know, it like gets crazy big or like it mm-hmm. stays the same, like uh-huh. when you when you start something, it opens doors. So <laughs> it was full of good luck. It's just because it's siguro the been teaching for 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 a while that and, mm-hmm. and seeing that nawawala na yung laughing, di ba? Mm-hmm. Nawawala na yung students sa laughing classes and mm-hmm. and naisip ko lang like how can like how can I use the interest of the generation para matutulan tas naisip ko mega crew mega crew mm-hmm. <laughs> kasi kasi everybody's into HHI that time and then I posted sa, 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 sa Facebook as in sabi ko as in hash, hashtag lang laughing mega crew hashtag laughing mega crew tapos hashtag coming soon ayun As in like for fun, and then and dami, <laughs> dami na grip like, OMG, kailan to? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is really cool. Oh, sige, taloy ko na to. <laughs> <laughs> so, ayun, kaya ginawa ko siya. I would usually invite people like, may school mm-hmm. of good luck na before. Mm-hmm. I call it school of luck. The okay. concept was to have different schools, different flavors. Parang of locking, so, so, but hindi siya nag-work. nag-work. Mm-hmm. So, inisip ko, people like earning things. So, let's make it an audition. Mm-hmm. Yun. And then, ginawa ako siyang audition. And then, ayun. And then, naging na siyang crew. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yun na siya. Like, I, I never really expected people to go with mm-hmm. it. But yun. And then, we started training, di ba? And like, nag, nag-gain ng traction. And naisip ko, Okay, so we're doing this thing. Kahit hindi tayo mag-compete. Mm-hmm. We have a... We have kind of, kind of uh, brought back walking to like, the, no. the next generation. Uh-huh. In a way. In a way. Not yeah. not taking credit, but just in a way. <laughs> Parang, yeah. I think it was more of the awareness then. Eh. Well, mm-hmm. during the... Nung na, naka, nakapasok na ako. Like after after camp lock, I think we that's I think that's where we really gained a lot of attraction, mm. and then people mm. people were hoping for a part two or what what yeah. will happen next year. Oh man! Like yung mga um, I'm I'm really an awkward person. Like hindi talaga ako lumal. Ano hare? Pag sa scene ganyan, hindi talaga ako lumalapet to another dancer mm. na kaso papahilala. But I think it's really our culture that time that the na We're really, uh, parang sobrang outgoing lang ng lahat. Like everyone, it was <laughs> just like talking. <laughs> like, yeah. Yung pentuhan yun kasi after training. So during mm. during camp lock, I approach dancers. Kasi mm. syempre, kasi tayo din yung nag-host. Malamang diba? Yeah, <laughs> so I approach yeah. dancers. Tapos naging friends ko rin. Sila, sila CJ. And then I see them, I see them nagko-converse sila. Nagko-converse sila na um, parang nag, nag-memories din sa akin yung camp lock. Yeah, kanina. Nag- nag-memories, diba? <laughs> Tapos parang nagko-converse sila, parang kailan kaya yung part 2? Or mm-hmm. kailan kaya yung ano kayong mangyayari next year? Kailan yung susunod? Oh. Naka, naka, naka-touch yung naka, nakabasa. Yeah. Nakabasa. Grabe, no? Like, like uh, it, it was just us, like, who, na parang niisip lang natin, tara, gawa tayo ng concert para fun. Mm-hmm. Tapos like from that naging na siyang camp dahil kay Lapagos kasi Bagos, they attended yeah. the first time. Tapos nagkaroon tayo ng mga gigs. Tapos oh. <laughs> open up the opportunity after nagkaroon ng mga gigs. Palit. Yeah. <laughs> fun, so, so, fun, fun experience. Okay. Next up, from Jok Melchor, he asks, mm. what are the challenges of pursuing dance during the pandemic and what did you do to keep the fire alive? Yeah, this is a very interesting, interesting question. Uh, what are the challenges in Davi, di ba? Mm-hmm. And yeah. and like everybody's facing the challenges. We go the first one is mental health. Eh? Mm-hmm. Like it's a challenge physically, especially like you can't go out. It, 
and there's a virus but yeah. in mental health talaga it, it wala eh. I mean it gets affected to a point that you actually want to stop doing things eh, diba? mm-hmm. so yo that that's one big thing yung mga yeah you if if you want to stop if you want to make you stop moving it's gonna definitely make you stop that so mm-hmm. ako like there's a week na I don't like but pa ako nagsasayo anong point nito as it like the yeah. serious na ganun na daw and then yeah and then so what did I do I think the very thing that you that I did is like take a break mm-hmm. and then take a break as in like siguro like not even think about dance or not mm-hmm. think not talk about dance just be human mm-hmm. <laughs> you know and just watch watch shows that you want take a break like splurge mm-hmm. on on eating what that sorry bad example <laughs> that, I mean sometimes the way you need yeah, yeah. that break yeah ayun and then and it at the, at some point when your your body and your mind gets recharged when you hear music like mm-hmm. wala eh bidalabas na lang sa bigla Siguro, mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's what kept me alive. Siguro, the music mm-hmm. and the students. Yeah. So for me, honestly, I wouldn't be dancing right now if I didn't have students. Mm-hmm. So so house like it was crazy and damn like house last year, but I was doing light beat, but but yung house was like paturo ng house so, so because a lot of students were asking me. And I had a lot of students. Parang I was pushed into studying it again, mm-hmm. getting better, finding new concepts, finding new ways to teach. Mm-hmm. And I'm dancing. I realized, oh my gosh, watching videos, watching all of them gave me that fire to get better. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't dance before the pandemic. I would wouldn't dance at all <laughs> unless mm-hmm. feel go. Uh-huh. So kaya that my students really really kept me alive <laughs> for me i i uh, very much understood yung yung you need to take a break mm. personally I, i feel like i'm still i'm super slow on getting that groove back one mm. kasi ang hirap pag wala kang space yeah like, it's it's mm. very hard to to dance if you don't really have the space and then That's why when we were doing good luck trainings, some sometimes it's just in, he, um, it's fun to see sila sila Jess, sila Job mm. when we're training, but it's really a hard time looking for spaces. Just the people right. here at the house, like they're looking at me, like, what's it, what's yeah, going on yeah. <laughs> over there? Oh, okay. Then I go, like the training, the training. Well, kind of may may get an awkward feeling for for yeah, for, yeah. for me. And then, but it's 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 um it's, it's fun to see the unlock challenge on on my feed because I think a lot of people na hindi suma hindi na nakasayaw it, it was their opportunity naman to to dance so it's it's opposite mm. for for other people. Ayun, ayun. Okay. Next question. So from Jofi Pataxil, how do you continuously grow in your craft? So maybe this is, this is from a uh, the pandemic setup then. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh <laughs> to to be honest, you know, to be honest, if kunare walang students, mm-hmm. I honestly don't know it. Like I said, like for me, I I When I focus on something, I really focus on it. So when mm-hmm. I was learning light feet, I was really investing in it, like like asking for like uh, teachers as a state mm-hmm. and like investing in taking workshops. So siguro yon. That's the the first thing. How do you continuously grow? For me, it's like um like looking into what you really want. I know it's mm-hmm. it's a really difficult thing sometimes. Kasi kung hindi mo alam But once you you know, once you know, like okay, I want to do this. I want to, I want to, or I want to be able to dance this style. Kaya yun na. Like for me, that will start it, eh, and you invest in it. When you mm-hmm. invest, kasi like for example, you you shell out money, it gives you the parang whatever I'm gonna learn here is gonna be worth it. Mm-hmm. Iba kasi siya yung parang kung 
kung it's just like sige nga let me try this kasi free siya alam mo yun yeah. like, like yeah, yeah. you have the freedom to also like nah okay lang yun uh-huh. parang ganun it's like you you actually value something it, it's sige yun and kanina like how do I grow constantly um, the pressure <laughs> the pressure as a teacher to mm-hmm. to be able to teach especially for my experience to students Mm-hmm. na to a point na sinabi ko sa kanila guys I'm not sure if meron pa ako matuturo and then yun in, in the field ko like wow that's a challenge in itself na parang hey you... meron pa eh mm-hmm. meron pa eh kasi like they still want to learn from me ibig sabihin there probably is something in me that I can still teach so inisip ko what is it so yun and I realized ko ah okay so for me it's like being a teacher or being one step ahead of my students is like a good pressure to grow. Okay, mm-hmm. balik ako, aral, YouTube, workshop from this person, from an OG, and then what else can I learn? And then, sure. Then I apply to myself. Dapat kasi kaya ko muna, di ba? Dapat yeah. magawa ko muna siya. Mm-hmm. Then magawa ko na siya. Yes, pero na ako lesson. So, so it's like, or whether I teach it or not, it's like, wow, meron akong, meron akong bagong skill or bagong whatever. So, so yun, honestly, it's the students talaga. Uh, <laughs> it's the pressure. I think what's, um, what's good about what you, what you said is you're very open with if hindi mo kaya. I, I mean, you're very mm. open with your students. Yeah. And I think, I, and, I, and I think, I, I think, dun din naman kahit naman sa, sa school, Like, guys, anong pwede natin gawin? And then, mm. that's also um, a challenge for us. Like, what what, mm. what can we what can we do? What How can we collaborate? How can we help each other? Right, so, right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, from 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 Dan Mark Del Mundo, ito, Kuya, ano ang mas gusto mong salihan? Dance compet or dance battle? <laughs> right now? <laughs> right now? Mas gusto ko mag-compet, so, honestly. <laughs> with, with the team. With the team. Oh, with the team. It's mm-hmm. like, the last time I would do that was in college. Mm-hmm. In Diog, Skechers 4. Ay, joke. Nag-champion kami sa RX. Mm-hmm. Ayun. <laughs> so, after that, was like, tapos na. So, like, it it kind of left me hanging a very high note. Alam mo yun, mm-hmm. like, nag-champion kami. Tapos, graduate na. So, kasi ano kasi pa si Christian at si Elvin mm-hmm. at saka si JD ata yun basta so yeah I really wanna experience dancing competitively with a team okay yeah. I was <laughs> I was really thinking of parang dance battle but okay okay <laughs> sorry it's it. okay lang okay lang <laughs> pwede yeah, na naman nakakamiss na, 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 ka mag-compete we should do that when when things are okay uh, we'll we'll, we'll, com- na, no? we'll we'll compete locking with mm. the school yeah okay all right so from edward rustria being a dancer full of positivity and happiness have you ever experienced or encountered being judged or bashed if yes oh. how did you handle it oh my gosh yes grabe <laughs> uh As I I remember this incident. Uh-huh. <laughs> After judging a competition. Uh like bigla akong na, bigla akong randomly nasali sa isang chat group. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> tapos okay. Yung, tapos tapos yung chat group binabash nila ako. As it like wow, as it like like crazy um mm-hmm. Um, And they know so, they know you're there or someone just added you I don't know but see? yeah definitely somebody added me pero yung weird nga was like was it an accident or mm. <laughs> grave as in like the first time to experience that like yung character mo magjudge and mm-hmm. uh, I mean like to be fair they don't really know me which is okay I mean yun, like people can get can get wild with bashing when they don't, don't know the person the person so, yeah See, oh, it's crazy. Like, wow, oh, this is the first time. Like, like, yung character mo, yung race mo, yung like, 
yung 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 judging mo they 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 bash you with that say yun and then oh, what am i supposed to do with this did you reply <laughs> Did you say hi? I'm here. Like <laughs> <laughs> I did it because me is it's gonna be awkward, and I I think it it was just silent after. But I just messaged, you know, somebody who I I knew, and then said, "Happy lang, if you have any uh, concerns with the judging I did, please talk to me because I can, we can talk about it. Like I'm really open. That, that's that's part of being a judge. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, that's part of being a judge, being bashed by your by your decision, but. Yun nga eh, you, you should be able to explain it, di ba? Mm-hmm. Para okay lahat. Ayun, so naging okay naman. <laughs> yeah. So was was this like recently lang or like way before pa? Prob- yeah. Probably a year ago. Oof. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <laughs> eh, some, sometimes you hear people too, like talking behind you or or posting stuff and you know it's you. Mm-hmm. It, wala. I mean, it's it's normal, I guess. Like, like, yun nga, di ba? Like, whatever you do, there's there's always gonna be somebody who will probably find something they don't like. Yeah. And then and it's, it's normal. It's okay. It's, yeah. it's bashing like, like, pwede ba natin sabihin na it's a, it's a, like a gauge that you're doing something that I mean, great, but I mean, you're, you're causing fiction because it, it's like, yeah, para, para you, you, yeah. D- depend yeah, on how they interpret things. Because mm-hmm. like, maybe for you, you're doing something nice, but meron ka nang natatapakan or meron ka uh, nang... So it's also your responsibility. Like, when, yeah. like when, when that happened to me, when another thing happened to me, I asked my friends, like, did, did I do anything that I didn't notice? Na, mm-hmm. Did I say something? Did I... Meron ba ako? Kasi I, I should take that bash as like a sign, di ba? Na maybe mm-hmm. I did something. So, yun, instead of like reacting first, di ba? Like, wait lang, did I, did I do something? Yeah. Baka I actually offended people? Ganyan. And yun, ayun. <laughs> so, yun. Wala naman. <laughs> Wala naman. Like, it's just... Mm-hmm. Parang... Pero yun, yeah, like, it's, it's also a good lesson now with even with good intentions or, or good actions then pe- people can still uh you know, you know mm-hmm. like see it as something that can offend them and that deserves an apology whether mm-hmm. you meant it or not when you hurt mm-hmm. somebody you sh- should apologize i mean that's that's just me <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. Okay, okay okay all right that's noted I mean, I, I'm because I'm 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 learning I'm I'm learning through through that one. Okay. Um. Next from Ryan Termoso, how do you see the dance profession and industry and industry in the next ten years? Oh, so, so excited, super. Because I feel like dancers now, the trend is like, uh, is like they're looking for what they really want, right? Mm-hmm. Diba? especially in in the the pandemic season kasi pa there wala nang ano eh they have it's it's in their hands eh like i can yeah. learn from this person this person this person so i feel like in terms of dancing like people are gonna be more diverse mm-hmm. so nakaka excite and in this profession i feel like there will be a lot more teachers i hope as in super hope like mm-hmm. we have a lot of coaches we have a lot of um leaders Mm-hmm. Pero I'm excited for teachers. Because teachers. teachers are June is like um whether or not it has a product like a competition or a recital, teachers are gonna be constantly teaching dance. And and saka, parang nasa kanila yung like power to actually elevate the quality of dancing mm-hmm. within a community. So mm-hmm. I'm super excited. I feel like there is gonna be a lot more teachers in the dance industry <laughs> Ayo, that's how i see it mm. maybe i'm being too optimistic <laughs> i mean that that's 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 okay um there there's been a lot of movement your your unlock challenge or your 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 unlock camp and then there there are other 
um, leaders in the community or who's also doing mentoring. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of a lot of leaders nga are doing mentoring. Eh. That yeah, it, it, yeah. It, I see lang on on my on my feed, which is a good sign for all the students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, sorry, and mm-hmm. TikTok, ba? TikTok. Oh, oh. I feel like everybody's gonna be dancing in the next ten years. At like, mas mataas na yung value niya, ba? Oh, <laughs> like TikTok. Uh, recently, I well, dinalot ko yung app, but recently, I ngayon lang ako nagda dive in into exploring the the content in it. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, people who you don't see dancing or you wouldn't really know. is dancing are suddenly like breaking out of their shells and like yes. what's happening like it's amazing it's, it's happening yeah. like sobrang tahimik ng taon to but you're doing <laughs> the the, the yeah. challenges are just like breaking the people the the, the shell mm-hmm. and the, their creativity okay. and then and then <laughs> very recently lang din ako recently ko lang din appreciate yung K-pop like mm. the From, from how they dance before to how they dance now is super yeah. complicated yeah, for the people mm-hmm. who are saying na padali lang yung sayo nila like no this is crazy this is sobra crazy. sobra yeah. do you do you watch Lisa dance? sorry bias ko kasi si Lisa <laughs> she's probably the the only <laughs> the only because I am not really into it yet but uh-huh. when I saw her dance The first thing that came into my mind was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch your videos. I'm I'm gonna look for her. I'm gonna, and I wanna be able to like dance like that. Kaya gusto ko rin magdance as a team. Eh. Kasi gusto ko ma gusto ko maachieve yung ginawa ni Lisa. Like when she's dancing. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa yung papa. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. She, she I mean, if if Sigoro hindi siya, I mean, hindi siya um, under K-pop, I, I don't know. Mm. May, baka meron kasing perception that she's, she's oh, 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 oh. under K-pop. Yeah, But, yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, I mean her, her, her dance is parang if you remove the, the, the K-pop on her yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or even Happy. even palang if meron pa siyang K-pop brand whatever it's it's not like your usual yeah I don't know is it's there a usual good. K-pop style but I'm I'm not sure please please don't bash me I'm not sure what I'm talking about <laughs> but regardless if may may, may K-pop brand siya, it doesn't look like she's under that style anymore so it's she can do she, yeah she can do yan grave 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 do yan Okay. Grabe. Grabe talaga. <laughs> wait, oh. wait, wait. Let me... Meron pa akong ibang questions dito. Um, any any recent discoveries na that's really giving a lot of value in you in you, in you right mm-hmm. now? Like maybe a book or like a, a creator, mm-hmm. an app? Hmm. Actually, siguro the biggest discoveries I got was from yung the teachers uh, mm-hmm. or the dancers who attended my who are attending my teachers camp right now. Mm-hmm. Kasi, so we're doing the, these activities and we talk about it. Eh. We talk about practical stuff when you're in a classroom setting or an online setting and yung perspectives from kahit hindi pa nagtuturo ng dance, ng mm-hmm. dance or matagal na ibang style tinuturo, ganyan, grabe. As in like, wow, like you can actually teach better. So, yun yung masaya. It's like, like kaya sobrang addict ka ko sa teaching. It's mm-hmm. because like, there's so much to teaching na it can actually raise a whole generation of dancers with with how you say things, with mm-hmm. how you teach things. Mm-hmm. And for me, kaya ako siguro addict dito kasi like, We had to learn it on our own, and about before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so this mentoring can... thing, this teacher-student <laughs> relation, it's quite a very new. Yeah, you can yeah, say, yeah. especially with technology. <laughs> before nga, but oh, at all, before we we didn't really have that mm-hmm. much of resources. So it's like it's giving people like a cheat code. Mm-hmm. We call it the hack to 
into being able to dance like you or mm-hmm. dance really well in a certain amount of time. Na mabilis lang. So so yun, honestly like I yun, like that's the best the, the where I got a lot of learning from mm-hmm. and discovery from different teachers and and yeah, yun yun, parang yun yung nasa ano ko ngayon. Diba, uh, like what you said, yung, yung challenge and then the, the camp and it, it just brought up, brought up a lot of opportunities and value along the way. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, that's really, that's really nice. From, from Ryan again, he asks, mm-hmm. um, what's your unpopular opinion in dance battle or maybe dance as a whole? <laughs> so I from, like that. I like that. Oh my gosh, dance as a whole. Dance battles, you know. Ah, sige. <laughs> unpopular opinion. So, mm-hmm. pwede ako mabash dito. <laughs> Sabi nga niya dito, unpopular opinion that will revoke your dancership. So, <laughs> yeah. pero it's either yeah. you can you can follow that or ikaw bala ko. Yeah, yeah. I think musicality is overrated. Yun. Sa battles. I think musicality... Ito nga sabi niya, may follow-up yun. Do you think beat kills are overrated? Ayun. Ah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yun na yun yung pareho kami nasa isip. Uh, It's overrated. Uh, ako, I love it. Mm-hmm. Addict ako doon kasi like I'm a musician and I talagang tinrain ko siya before kasi mm-hmm. I love showing the beats. Mm-hmm. But it's overrated because I feel like it's the, it's the biggest. It's the biggest chunk of in the criteria right now when it mm-hmm. shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. So, so, nung tinruan ako ng mentor ko uh, how he approaches dance, like, doon ko na-realize, like, ang dami ba nating na miss out mm-hmm. as dancers because we value the beat killing too much. And the us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or being accurate. Parang being accurate with the music. Like, na- natatanggal yung freedom ng dancer to actually do what he or she wants mm-hmm. in the music. Mm-hmm. Usually, kasi we, we value it too much na ito lang yung sinasabi ng music sa'yo. So, dapat ito lang. Yung ganun, or, or to a certain point, like, do you hear that beat? Mm-hmm. Then show it. Yung ganun. Mm-hmm. But if hindi kailangan yun, imagine mo yung freedom. Imagine yeah. mo yung movements. It's gonna be super diverse. Uh-huh. Diba? Yeah. And unique kasi walang pressure to kill the beat. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yun. <laughs> Recently, I've been trying to, diba, I've been trying to find my group again. So, whenever mm-hmm. I'm on breaks during my workouts, I try to to freestyle. And it's very, parang na, kasi, kasi ang hinahanap ko din, I'm trying to find the beat. So, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to do my, my, my popping. You know? Di naman talaga ako popper, mm-hmm. but I, I, I want to freestyle ng mm-hmm. popping. And then, whenever I, don't hit it, I stop. Mm. Parang, mm. Uh, parang, shocks, na-miss ko yung beat. So, parang nawala na ako sa group ko. Oh, so, so okay. parang, may, may ganun akong motion. I think yes, for yes. us, na, who, live the, the, the scene na, beat kill, the, ooh, you wanna, yeah. you wanna hear the, who's and the us. Kasi, kasi, sarap talaga naman yun siya sa feeling eh. <laughs> it's kinda hard to, it's kinda hard to, break the, yeah. the, the, the thought. But yeah. I like it. I, I like the answer. I actually I actually call it a noy. Sorry. Yeah, this is gonna get me bashed. <laughs> I call beat killing a no. I call beat killing fan service. <laughs> or as in like sige pasayin ko yung mga tao ikikil ko to cha 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 okay na <laughs> parang you did that you did that sa queens I think may, may, may isa tayong training Like, <laughs> ano ba tao? Binit mo lang lahat ng kilin F kami, parang nakanganga lang kami. And then, I think you said that. May, may, parang binagit mo ata yung parang okay na, okay na. <laughs> okay, okay. Then uh, even for me, even for, for, for choreography, mm-hmm. I really believe there's another way to choreograph. Kasi when I watch choreography right now, the biggest chunk of it is still showing the music uh-huh. or killing the small details. And for me, it's like, at a certain point, it's like, it's like it's in your face. Alam mo yun? Uh-huh, like, uh-huh. sige na, like, 
Sige, nakuha mo na lahat. As in, yung, yung ganun. To a uh-huh. point na you don't feel anything anymore uh-huh. because you you hear everything or you see everything. So it's like, nasa na yung, where's the soul of the music? Where's the the feel of the music? It's, uh-huh. too, it's too accurate. Para siyang ganun. Do you use this when you judge? Sa battle? I mean, not, I call, maybe in team concept or battle? Kasi if sekundar is a team battle, everyone's still doing the 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 beat kill. So how mm-hmm. how and, and if that's what you you feel or I don't know, do do you consider it when judging your 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 personal yeah. belief or are you still? Ano say, part part siya kasi ng di ba musical? Mm-hmm. Eh, music music na water down na nga siya sa beat kill. Musicality mm-hmm. in itself has. Yun. So basically, groove, vibe, whatever the music is in that. Mm-hmm. So for me, yeah, musicality is a big deal, but not beat killing. So like mm-hmm. the first criteria ko for judging an all styles battle is vibe. Mm-hmm. So so for me, it's that's musicality. Mm-hmm. Whether you kill kill the beat or not, like if you get the vibe in your your own beat, of course, it makes a bit naive in that. It's not just random stuff. Mm-hmm. Yun. I don't really put so much weight on beat kills, uh-uh. unless unless that's the only, uh, that's the only criteria that makes one battler better than another. Uh, then, uh, then my effect shot. Yeah. Uh-uh. Well, what what if all well, right, on a team setting, all of the groups are like shocks lah? Is there like beat kill or may may ganon na bang instance? Yeah. Like how 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 do you go about that? All all the competitions here do that. Yeah. Kaya nga rin nakaka- Sorry. Umay. Kaya nga rin you really <laughs> want to you really want to challenge it. the the choreographers and the siguro the coaches to mm. to to go beyond it because it 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 gives the same thing. It gives you visuals. It gives you uh, accuracy. Mm-hmm. So merong mga magagaling din na who can give you that and at the same time give you the feel. Mm-hmm. So, parang kung woo. So, in a way, for me, beat killing for its own sake mm-hmm. is not really like must. You know, is 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 just that beat killing. But if you, if it has a purpose, mm-hmm. or if it is like my part my of the ex, vibe, I don't know. maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Parang or hindi palagi. Mm-hmm. Then para magkakaroon siya. Oh, may purpose siya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hindi like lahat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It no wala yung soul eh, no wala yung Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm sorry, I forgot. Some of dance competitions but do they know the judge before or or on on the same day like <laughs> they, they should. And they should. Uh-huh. Dapat the competition should give that. And and for me if you're a responsible competitor, you don't just join that like you mm-hmm. want to know who the judge is not because like ah pag yan judge wag na but uh, because you know like ah ito yung standard niya like mm-hmm. okay merong criteria but but you know ito yung hinahanap niya okay. it's not that you you adjust your piece but you know like there's a better way to to win this game mm-hmm. yun. so yun parang yeah you should okay all right so um That should be all for our questions. Thank you so much for everyone yeah. who sent them Thank in. You guys. Um, and I think that should end our podcast as well. So I, I just want it to be really like a um, very short and meaningful um, type of pod episode for, for this one. So it's kind of also my me experimenting on the for, format and mm-hmm. how, how, how can I also make it fresh for also future episodes so kuya um any upcoming um upcoming works or gig that you want to plug and then where can they find you so i have this up- upcoming teachers camp batch 2 so i'm going to mm-hmm. do a batch 2 of the so this teachers camp is for aspiring dance teachers and current dance teachers mm-hmm. uh so this is just me being uh sh- sharing uh the unlock approach you know, in teaching street dance. Mm-hmm. So if you want to learn it or if you want to learn with other teachers, 
uh yeah you can message me it's gonna start on march 8th and then uh yeah I, i'm still doing mentorship so when i say mentorship i do one-on-ones uh different styles so message me for that and also small groups so small groups if you want to attend a four-day group uh, a four-day program with friends or or a group of five people we can learn popping locking and other other different dance styles message me lang din so yeah. you can find me on uh, instagram james and wong and facebook yeah usually din lang ako <laughs> I yeah. really, really appreciate you joining us today, Kuya. I know the kids are sleeping you. and you've been yeah. super tired. <laughs> um, no problem. There's a new Avatar show coming up. I, I just, I just um, yeah. read it yes. a while ago. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, if you like the podcast, please don't hesitate to share your thoughts by tagging me on Instagram at Ramonagdisit or by using the hashtag The Mulak Podcast. Um, don't forget also to subscribe, share the podcast. So, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor FM. Um, we'll also up- I'll also upload this uh, the video format on YouTube. So, better check that out as well. Um, just want to quickly plug um, this, that this podcast is brought to you by Lil Bro's Big Kitchen and Aves by the Fat Kitchen. Sangipsa. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, watching, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much and peace.